Hi, my name's Clint Lewing. I'm driving a 1991 Chev G20 van, StarCraft Edition. This video is sponsored by Bioptimizers. Go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb to get a 10% discount using code Florb10 at checkout. And remember to subscribe. Years ago, I had a film project down in Mexico. I convinced the crew to just get me a ticket, uh, you know, a week later so I could tour around California. So I rented a Dodge Grand Caravan, went to Walmart, you know, bought everything. So my first week of van life, it cost me, what I remember, it was like 134 bucks. Basically lived like a king, you know, parking in La Jolla, all that kind of thing. After that, I was hooked and I knew I'd be building one up, yeah. I didn't want something new. You know, I'm an old school guy like that. I've been working on old school GMs. My first car was a 77 Camaro. So luckily, with a body in like unreal shape, I paid five grand. And it looked nice for like a day or two and then everything got gutted. Like absolutely everything, stripped the interior so it was a tin can inside. I didn't want to do a build and then to be something like, again, wires that you know aren't right so it'll burn down and especially you know mice in there like you never know i re-insulated everything with rock salt you know so mice don't go in it and then i have the vapor barrier the roof was insulated better i have a new 350 crate in there put a 700r transmission in there it's a 30 year old van but i mean it's it's a brand new 30 year old van yeah I guess, yeah, first thing, like I already told you, you know, it's a 350 crate. I put the motor in, everything like that. Just when it comes like with mementos of the van, like, you know, we could go on for days doing it, right? My best friend, John, back in the Netherlands, gifted me this license plate, which is, you know, he, a really big deal because that's all he had left of his first car. So that's the kind of memory in there. And yeah, around Vancouver, it's great because, you know, I, I have still Alberta plates, so I'll do the parking tickets and everything with my back plate. And it's a couple times actually where I'll have a parking ticket because they run the front plate. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's here nor there. I actually replaced all the headlights with the LEDs and I wanted to keep things classic. So I had these off-road lights here, I had to drill out the back of them because the LED bulbs are big. So I have eight uh, 6,000K HIDs here. So that's the front end. I did the paint job um, with the gray and the white. You know, the ocean is like a massive part of who I am as well. So I wanted to incorporate that on the outside. So you can see instead of just, you know, the normal blue pinstripes, I designed kind of like a wave coming in there. So that's why this is the wrapped around. I designed this, it's kind of all like a little bit of me in there, you know, surfing and the, the wings, angel wings. Um, kind of, got, I got the nickname Prodigal Son just because I'm always going, you know, out of town. People never know how long I'm gonna be gone for, when I'm gonna be coming back. But the thing is, like, I always come back. Like the song, like Life is Beautiful by 6 a.m. It's really in depth, it's really meaningful to me. Like I've had a lot of friends, you know, like young friends like my age that I graduated with and like, you know, they've passed like way too early, that kind of thing. So yeah, it was kind of my way, you know, to like pay homage to them that, you know, just because they didn't get experience, you know, the rest of what life kind of had to offer. I mean, I'm going to sure do my best to, to live it for them, right? So yeah, so that's why that is definitely uh, part of the van. I mean, the rear tire, you need to have like a little bit of where you go. But just the biggest things here, right? Like I can vividly remember what happened on the trip. So the really kind of, I guess, honor wall is, is this one back here. I love spend so much time in the sun in BC and California that this is one of my favorite places to be. Um, I'm usually at the beach. So, you know, after that, we'll just be, you know, laying out here on the sun. It's fall. So I'm actually taking a couple of the things down from up here, like on the other side of the Thule here, I have an eight inch PVC pipe that's up, not up now, but that's my gravity shower. So, you know, runs 10 feet so you can fit all the water you want. That's nice and warm just from the sun. And uh, yeah, that leads us to why I have the Thule up here is a uh, jet surf. So it's a jet driven surfboard. So yeah, it's totally unassuming. People don't know what's up here, but one of the coolest things that I've ever done in my life. So first stepping in, um, like I told you guys about that uh, first time I lived the van life down in California before I even bought this van. Of course I was in Venice Beach so this is the one touristy thing I have in the van but I knew in my head that this would be sitting in the van so that's why you know this is important to me. And this too, the bottom, when I got that Grand Caravan, this is that Mexican blanket that I just, yeah, I tied into it, right? So yeah, kind of, I mean, as soon as you walk in, there's just like little pieces of me everywhere, right? Um, starting with the little touches that, you know, are sentimental. I mean, of course, the hula girl, you have to have a hula girl in a van. It's just how it goes. But my little sister actually did her uh, holistic nutrition uh, diploma in Hawaii. So she brought that back for me. 
Um, a really good friend of mine that, uh, that I've been working on vehicles with my whole life. Uh, he does a lot of drag racing professionally. And this is out of his 55 Chev, so he actually gifted me the steering wheel. Going on for the rest of the dash, dad had a 74 Impala. Somebody totaled it. He gifted me that emblem, so now that's you know front and center. Here's actually my voltmeter for the auxiliary battery right there, so I can tell how much is in the battery back there. Down the road, I wanna have another fuel gauge up here and like, you know, like a bunch of other things, so that's why that's preemptively done there. All these switches are to do with lights. When I'm driving, I just pull that switch and it's like a water tap. You open the juice, the juice goes in four gauge cables back to the auxiliary battery that's in the back of the van. These seats were actually the rear chairs here, like the front seats didn't spin around. And of course, to save space, like this one is right now, I wanted to be able to spin them. So both the driver and passenger spin 100. So I took the brackets and the seats and put them up front. You don't have to have a ton of money to do this. Like this, a lot of people think that, you know, this is a ton of crazy woodworking. Everything you see here, this trim, this came with the StarCraft Edition. But what I wanted to do was, of course, make it look one of one. And I've always liked the, you know, the look of some crazy wood grains. So I went on the computer. I found it's actually an olive burl, and then I just stitched it, printed it on a vinyl, and then this is all wrapped. So yeah, that costed me probably what, like 30 bucks maybe? Well, kind of hidden right here. These are the two amps for the sound system. So uh, the smaller amp is running the 112 inch Crossfire BMF that I have in the sub box that I built over here. And again, sentimental, this sub box is actually the same sub box I had in the back of my Camaro in high school. And the second amp is running uh, the speakers in the front and the six by nines in the back, all hertz. So yeah, the sound system just runs absolutely amazing. Obviously what I'm sitting on right now is a couch when we're driving, it's super comfy. You pull all the drawers and simple, you just pull pins that I have locking down there. And this one right here. And then I have one handle. And this comes flat like this and the drawer is in a little bit and then you get full support right on the top of that drawer all right here. So again, cheap way to do it. This is just a spruce two by 12. You make it look expensive by instead of just having a square block, you know, I did a 55 degree like angle cut on here, sanded it down, make it nice round. So it looks a lot more than just a normal two by 12, which is what this is, right? You hit it with the Tiger Torch, it gives that kind of richness and more depth to it. And then yeah, just a wood grain enhancement stain. Right here, this hole I have in here, this pocket, it's either for my guitar amp or two five liter jerry cans in there. This was a piece of firewood out of my ranch. And then I started cutting into it, playing around. And again, it looks absolutely amazing, but this was just free that, yeah, you spend a couple days on and then it looks super nice. So you have a little bedside table right here. The auxiliary battery I've told you about is all hidden. You wouldn't even know it's here. It's a 13 inch uh, deep cycle battery that I have back there. The sound system, the lights, everything runs off that auxiliary battery. The only thing the battery under the hood does is turn the starter and run the engine. Really, the only thing that I bought in this van, but that I did have to make custom as well, was these bamboo blinds. So I bought them, but since the size of the windows, actually every single blind, I had to cut this rail, cut this rail, cut that rail, you know, and then re-spool the, re the spring together just so it would fit perfect. But I mean, you know, they're absolutely amazing wherever you sleep, right? Little hook and then, you know, totally secluded, totally private. And yeah, of course, cabinets, right? Everything here, all storage, all through this cabinet. I used to have a fridge there, uh, run up the 12 volt system, but now just cause the van's more of a weekender, I changed it into the cabinet here for clothes so I can hang, you know, fancy clothes, whatever you need back there. But of course, right in here, you have your place for all your cups in there. You know, I pull the jet boil out or the camping stove and then, you know, I have all my tea coffee up in here and this cabinet, set it up on the table. And I mean, right now we're in beautiful BC, but you know, you have this kind of view. You don't have to know anything about like a motor or electrical or anything. It's remember how you take something apart. Where are the screws that remove this? You can take that off and just remember how it goes back together. So, you know, you can take, say if it's, you know, uh, instead of like upholstery on the inside, it's wood and you want to make it a different color. Well, remember how you took it off. You can paint it, put it right back in and then, you know, there's already the beginning of your build right there. Take the seats out, put a mattress in and get a camp stove and you're living the van life. In the sense that there's no excuse, you know, people are like, ah, I'm not, you know, I'm not handy, I'm not whatever. It's like, anybody can remember that. So anybody can do it. You just gotta give yourself, you know, the confidence, have enough self-confidence to take that step. Even when things go bad and don't get me wrong, in the moment, sometimes like, I mean, it sucks. 
but I always notice that like the worst memories in the moment are what you look back on with the fondest memories. That's the best thing I think about you doing your own build, right? So life skills that again, you can't get from a book or in school or doing, you know, or a YouTube tutorial. It's like, you need to get, you need to get your hands dirty and you know, get tactile with something. And then, you know, then you really learn. What is the number one mineral that beats stress, fatigue, and helps you get better sleep? It's magnesium, but not just any magnesium. This is magnesium breakthrough from Bioptimizers, and it combines the seven essential forms of magnesium to help you sleep better, stress less, and just generally experience more peace throughout your day. Now, most magnesium supplements fail because they use synthetics or preservatives, but when you get all seven critical forms of magnesium, you get a serious upgrade from your brain to your body, your sleep gets better, muscle tension goes down, and so does pain and inflammation. With this one simple action, you can reverse magnesium deficiency in all of its forms and start feeling the benefits quickly. So click the link in the description below and go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb to get a 10% discount using code Florb10 at checkout on Magnesium Breakthrough. I recommend you check it out. When I take it, I notice a difference in my sleep. I'm almost done with this bottle here. Uh, so click the link in the description or the pinned comment and go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Florb and use code Florb10 for a 10% discount. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.